I picked up this anvil for 10 bucks at a flea market. This is a small bench top anvil. The rectangular work surface is about six and a half by three and it weighs about 10 pounds. This anvil was made when men were men and paint was paint. This paint was tough to remove. It probably had lead in it along with asbestos, depleted uranium, and the blood of the last 300 Spartans. I could still see some of the red even after four rounds of paint stripper. I went over the whole thing with a wire wheel chucked in my hand drill. I used some coarse steel wool and a drill bit to clean out the anvil's belly button. Some folks call it a pritchel hole. Here's some footage of the anvil after the wire wheel. I noticed that the base was not flat. I'm not sure if this was a casting defect or if there was some special purpose for the shape of the base, but I wanted it flat. I made this special anvil surface truing board. The design and construction of this device was too complex for me to go into it now. Maybe another video. This process took some time. I would sand for a while and take a break and do something else. Eventually, I was able to get both the base and the work surface pretty flat. I painted the anvil with red rust-oleum. I thinned the paint with mineral spirits and applied four coats. I mounted the anvil to a board for better stability. I decided to paint the horn because I don't plan to use it much, if at all. I painted the lettering with tester silver, just for fun. The gouges in the work surface were way too deep for me to remove. I don't think they will affect how I plan to use the anvil. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I recently reached 1,000 subscribers. Thanks to everyone for their support, especially Scoutcrafter for recommending my channel to his viewers, and Joe Shop for mentioning me in his videos.